I'm a pediatric physiatrist and a medical director of the rehabilitation program. We see children with various neurologic and musculoskeletal conditions after surgery or after a new neurologic condition onset and help them rehabilitate to uh, return to function in the community. We see a number of different uh, conditions including cerebral palsy, spina bifida, different injuries such as spinal cord injury, brain injury, uh, orthopedic injuries that affect multiple limbs, uh, amputations, um, and other conditions as well. In terms of rehabilitation for children with cerebral palsy, they uh, need strengthening, spasticity management, and a lot of different opportunities to practice different skills as they grow. The goal for children is to really get them to integrate into the community at all levels, so returning to school and play, peer involvement, community activities, and return to full life with the family. Spina bifida is considered to be one of the most complex uh, disabling congenital conditions and uh, it requires an interdisciplinary care team both to help provide uh, anticipatory guidance for parents as children grow but also to make sure that they aren't showing signs of deterioration. Data shows that there is about 12,000 spinal cord injuries that occur each year in the United States and about 10% of them happen in children under age 18. Having a spinal cord injury in childhood can sometimes change the trajectory of what people expect for children. And we, re we really want to make sure that children uh, have as many opportunities as possible to fully develop in all different ways. Equipment is very helpful in terms of activating muscles, both in terms of strengthening muscles that are partially active and potentially stimulating new connections in the neural tissue. So there's research being done in that area that has some indications that uh, repeated stimulation of different muscles or repeating different movements, such as on a bicycle or on uh, a treadmill for walking activities, may stimulate nerve regeneration in places that we didn't expect it to. Shriners has a very nice way of creating a community around these children. So instead of having a very large team where you have different people coming in and out of your care, you have a very tight team who gets very close to the family and is very invested. There's a lot of extras that's, that occur here. So between child life and recreational therapy, there's really a, a strong sense of how do we get this child back to their home and their community and make sure they're fully functioning and that everybody feels great about their function when they return home. If you know a child who needs rehabilitation care, we'd love to see them here at Triners Hospital Chicago.